All right, good morning, everyone. This is Frank Ochoa with you, a pre-market update for the Mr. Top Step Trading Room. And um, today, Wednesday, November 20th, just had some news come out 30 minutes ago, which pushed the markets higher right now. Uh, the ES, uh, in a 60-minute time frame here in the hourly chart, it shows that it's, it's building out a flag pattern or some type of pennant at highs. Um, obviously, this, this all points to more strength overall. But how much more pullback do we get first? And I think um, we, the, the key levels that we had outlined yesterday uh, will continue to serve a great purpose today. 1794 and 1800 are, are key levels up top. 1780 on the downside or 82 is an early level to watch on the downside. Uh, I think between 80 and, and 94, you're just likely going to see chop in, in that zone. And eventually we get below 82s that could lead to a, a big time retest of that 1775 or as low as 1770. I still think a retest of that 1770 level which was uh, prior resistance until we got the breakout we still haven't gotten back to retest that zone but I still think if we pull back into that zone it could offer a solid potential buying opportunity for a swing high. Right now uh, just on a very short term basis for the ES I have upside targets on the day at um, oh, let me pull it up here on the upside primary target would be 95 for the day so that would be one one point past those 94s and then the next target above that would be 99 25 uh, on the short side here 81 no rather 82 is the downside target uh, initially and then the primary would be 77 half so you can see there's um, just a range here with, with a couple of targets above and below. We'll see what happens here. But for right now, 82 up to 94, it's, it's just a range until we get a breakout from that zone. Not a whole lot to say at this, at this point. For e NQ, the NQ right now, this one has, uh, has held very, very nicely on that lower area down there, 3370s, 3371s. Very nice source of support this morning, especially overnight pre-market trading. We bounced off that zone about 16, 17 points, and we're holding beneath 3390s. Um, I still think the big time lower high we formed at 3400 was important. I think after dropping down away from uh, 3420s and, and leaving some selling tails up there and then pulling back, forming a lower high at 3400, I think that forecast to move down to 3350. So as long as we remain below 3400, I think we have an overall move down toward 3350 in the works. Breaking above 3400 obviously implies a, a retest of those prior highs at 3420, uh, but I think I think there's a little bit more downside ahead. Um, in terms of targets for today, primary upside target for the NQ is 99 half. I have 99 half. If we get below beyond that 3400 then 3409 quarter is the full range target on the upside. On the downside, the primary target is 56 quarter with a scaling point at 65.75. And let's look at crude oil. Crude oil, another one here with a great, great source of support between 93.20, 94.40, which has been support all week. Um, and just a great area of support down there. Uh, right now we just broke above yesterday's highs uh, and we also broke above the 9430s which was kind of an early pre-market high there. Breaking above that zone implies a move up toward 9480 to 95. That's the next area of resistance. Beyond that 9570 is that next zone of resistance up there. 9570 on the January contract is actually the biggest key level on the chart for the bulls. I mean, that's really the level that needs to be taken out in order for a huge move to occur to the upside. Until that happens, I think we likely see more weakness around 95s, and this thing is, is still poised for a downside break overall out of this two week, two or three week down uh, trading range. So for targets on the upside, I got 94.90 as the primary and 94.53 as a scaling point on the downside. 9320 is the primary with a scaling point at 9356. So those are the key levels that I see right now. We'll see how it plays out heading into the rest of the day. Good luck. We'll see how it plays out.